Mobile Legends just released a new Aurora skin from the video game King of Fighters. This is Kula Diamond. And today is cosplay crafting time. Hi everyone, Alodia here. I just want to show you guys a segment of my life which I don't normally show because I just do it. <laughs> I don't document it because my hands get usually dirty when I do stuff like this. It's like cosplay stuff, cosplay stuff. I don't want to get hazardous materials on my gadgets because I love them. <laughs> so that's it, okay game. I only have today to do my Kula Diamond shoes because I've been so busy with all my streams, events, videos I need to do and I'm leaving the day after tomorrow. I still have meetings. All right, let's do this. So I got this pair of shoes um, from Amazon and what I like about it is that it has two wheels underneath to mimic the Aurora skin and Mobile Legends. Cause Aurora with her special KOF Kula Diamond skin, she's like skating in the map. So it's supposed to be like ice skates, but you know, we can do ice skates in normal terrain. So we'll have to do with this. What I need to do is make this all black. <laughs> My glue arrived. Okay, looks. As I was saying, um, first I have to paint this all black to make the soles bulkier. It has like some details which we can do with rubber sheets over here. And then add another strap over here, also with rubber sheets and then like circular thingies. Um, I'm not sure which I will use. Let's see if we have time because epoxy clay takes 24 hours to cure to make sure it's really hardened. But we don't have enough time as always. And we're gonna try to do this as fast as we can. Hi, game. So after that, we will be painting this all black and then some parts of it gold. I don't have the gold paint yet. It should arrive pretty soon. But since we're living in a condo, um, I can't do spray paint. Really, I tried. I tried for my Layla cosplay. It was so bad. It stuck here for like a couple of days. I think a week because we don't have the right ventilation. So now I'm just gonna use normal paint, like brush, paint and paint brush, okay? Before painting, we need to coat the rubber sheet with acrylic emulsion. Okay, ngayon lang akong gumagawa ng tutorial kasi usually, sa so sobrang kulang cool ako sa time, hindi ako nakakapag-video. As in, diretso, trabaho na po tayo. Okay, let's go. Game. Since I don't have a measuring tape at the moment, I'm just gonna use this. <laughs> Mas okay na sa mga progress ako mulang. 68 cm. Gawin na lang natin 69. 2 and a half cm. And a half by 69. Okay, so this is 4 mm. We're gonna use a thicker one. So, we are gonna use 2 mm. Para sa ano, details. Or actually, it's not even 4 mm. So, we're gonna use the total couple. It's gonna be 69. I don't know. We're gonna use a silver pen to mark some points. Because normal black pen, it's a black rubber sheet. I, I wish I had a longer ruler, but it's not available at the moment. Layo kasi ng bahay ko. <laughs> if ever may butas, butas, we can fill it in anyway. Two point five all over. Dadaya na lang natin sa likod. Kailangan kasi flat hindi ko niya de my heels si Kula. So we're gonna make two sets. Two point five. Walang inches pala itong. Actually, gawin na lang natin na three. Erase, erase. Let's make it three. Mas madali na lang magbawas kaysa magdagdag. Okay, so three and six na lang. Actually, we are gonna need more of these. So, let's make two more sets. Then, we're gonna just like, tatanggalin natin yung ibang parts na hindi kailangan mamaya. So, three, six ulit. We have four strips. Okay, let's cut. Make sure to always have your ruler on the better side, the one you don't want to damage, because sometimes when you cut it, it goes off course. Like you do that by accident if you're too fast. So it's better to protect the one you need. Okay. Let's 
glue this here. All right, normally, so we use a special glue called cyanoacrylate adhesive, and the brand we use is Greco. How do you say that? Greco. <laughs> Greco. Greco. Bonk. And what it does, it's, it's, it's a chemical bond, so when you put this together, you can actually see little smoke forming because it's trying to melt the rubber together. It's pretty dangerous, so be careful. Because <laughs> you can stick your hands together, it takes a while to try to separate them. So this is the main bottle and this is the nozzle which you can replace a lot of the time because when it dries up, it plugs the very tip and you can just cut it and cut it and cut it but if it's gone, you have to change this. This is You need this to try to open the preliminary top of this bottle. I'm just marking the center so we know the center of this part. Scratch paper so you can put your glue here. working. Take a sip. There's a switch over here, but we'll try to cut the hole for it. Okay, one down. We'll probably do the details first. Yeah, mas makapal na siya. But we need to cut some parts. Let's put the place in. Alright, so I just checked the game and she has like parts of it over here. So we're gonna make something on top and then little squares over here. Also on top and then another square over here. see there's more volume on the base. So before we proceed on to the other details, I have to do it on this shoe so that it would be equal and I won't forget the exact measurements per piece. Much, much, much later. Right guys, so next up we are doing the straps. I'm gonna try to make a pattern similar to this one using just the scratch paper. And let's see, I, I might try to attach it together with them. Daya trinis na lang. Dejo ko lang. Ganun naman talaga eh. Some people use masking tape for tracing. But, para hindi tayo maubuso ng time. Let's just do this. Okay, here we go. We have our pattern now. Actually, I'm sure ba no kay ano. Hindi ko na maalala yung suot ni ano Aurora. So, it's three. We just need to put three on top of each other. There's the circular thingies over here. Alright, we're gonna put a line in between each of them to make them look like screws. Using sandpaper, we will try to smoothen the edges of this rubber screw. Before and after. So we're just gonna do it to all our screws. I think they're ready. 
So now we are gonna prep up before painting and what we are gonna use is acrylic emulsion to coat the rubber sheet so that it won't eat as much paint as it can because <laughs> it's a porous material. It acts as a layer. I just tested the shoe and it's overextending a little bit so when I try to tiptoe it kind of bends. So we want to get rid of that and cut a little of the excess over here using the cutter. There you go. Always work with thin layers so that you don't see the, the droplets. We're done with one layer. This is gonna dry clear and that's when you know you can put your second layer. So for now, I'm probably gonna do two layers. Sometimes I do three, sometimes four, but since we're out of time, we can just do with two. Here's a tip. Make sure to let it dry fully and do not touch it because it's like glue, PVC glue. When you touch it, it's like it peels off. So make sure it's dry before you apply the second coat. So <laughs> I actually did three layers because I wanted it to be really sealed and now it's almost done drying. Here they are. I put the mini fan so it could dry a little bit faster. Then after drying completely, we can start painting it. I normally use acrylic paint so that it's faster to dry. And my favorite ones would be the one you use for little cars with the Mia brand and spray paint. But I'm not using spray paint, not today. This will be my first time to use this type of acrylic. We have it in bronze and we have it in old gold. I haven't tested it out, so let's see which is the closest color to this one. This is the bronze. Pretty good, pretty good. I think the closer color is old gold, but we can use bronze as the base. So we're gonna do definitely two layers for this one. I really like the coverage of this type of paint, so so I'm gonna keep this one in my box. So I'm doing the second coat. Now I'm using old gold. Almost. Let's paint all of these black. Pretty much black. Now we can proceed to the gold. Okay, what do you think? If there's any character you want me to cosplay next, let me know in the comment section below. Alright, that's it for now. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell for more updates. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!